These are the assembly instructions for my gingerbread house advent calendar. I've already started with some of the embellishments. So these are the candy canes and the shutters. And these are just regular 80 pound cardstock and I've adhered vinyl to them. I've done the same with the green vinyl. In the file, these are all the same size, but you have the green ones and the red ones. These are made out of 80 pound cardstock and I've applied green and red vinyl for the decorative layer. So the exact same size circles are used for the numbers on the boxes, but for these I've used adhesive vinyl on the 80 pound cardstock. I apply the vinyl for everything using very well used transfer tape. I make sure that I've taken the initial stickiness off of it so that it doesn't rip any of the cardstock. So next I'm going to build these little boxes for the inside of our advent calendar. I find it easier to decorate my box before I construct it. So I have my decorative panel with the little cutout and the cutout goes towards the top. Then I have my 80 pound cardstock with my adhesive foil number. And then there's a decorative gold circle that goes behind. So I'm just putting glue on the back of my cardstock, trying to center it as best I can on that circle. There is a circular outline that's scored into this panel. So I'm just placing my gold ring within that score line. I'm using my craft mat here and I want my two to be as straight as possible. If you notice, my one's a little bit wonky, so I'm trying to place them so that they're straight. This piece is going to go right here on my box. And now I'm going to fold down and burnish all the score lines on my box piece. My box is made out of Cricut craft board. I'm using my bone folder to burnish my score lines, but you can use your scraper tool if you don't have a bone folder. So next I'm going to put glue on that tab that's at the bottom right hand side. And I'm going to fold my box up so that the cut line of that side is right against the score line on the tab. And I want to make sure that this score line is right at the corner of my box. Then I'm going to put glue on that long tab and I'm folding that over. And then I'm going to fold my two tabs down and they, they form like an L shape. I'm just going to put glue on those and then fold down on my last panel and there's my box. So since this is an advent calendar, I have 24 of these to do. All right, so now we're going to work on one of the four sections of our advent calendar. Our advent calendar is broken up into four separate pieces and they all go together the same way. The structural part of it is made out of Cricut craft board. I have one full piece with score lines on it only. The other piece has a cutout with score lines and I've drawn in some designs using the opaque gel pen in white and then these pieces are to build the walls of my house. So I'm just folding down on all the score lines. I'm using my large scraper tool to help me fold down on this craft board and I'm burnishing my score lines really well. So on this piece I folded down on the score lines and then I folded them upwards towards the interior. And you'll notice that there are score lines, there's rectangular score lines inside this piece. It's not there for folding, it's there to, for placement. You have this white piece with slots on the top and the bottom. And I've already folded down on the score lines for it. And this piece is going to fit right in that rectangle. And this is going to be our little drawer system for our advent calendar. So I have all these slotted pieces with score lines on the ends. I'm just folding down on the score lines. So two of these pieces have little tabs with slots in the center and two of these pieces have the full length tabs on each end. So these are the ones we're going to start with. I'm just putting glue along 
one tab and I'm just gluing it along one edge. So I want the cut edge of my large piece just along the tab and it fits exactly within that space. Then I'm putting glue on the other end and gluing it to that other side like so. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, putting glue on the tabs and just gluing them to each side. And then I have this long piece with little tabs on each end. I'm just going to fit the tabs into the slots in the width of my box, like so. My other two pieces will fit vertically. I'm threading my piece into the slot that's in the horizontal piece. And then I'm just slipping those tabs into the slots on each end, like so. So I'm doing that for the second piece as well. Then I'm gonna put glue on those little tabs, and make sure that they're pulled all the way through and lay them flat on the edge of my piece and secure them down. I'm just putting glue on the tabs and then gluing them down. I'm going to flip my piece around and do that with the two other tabs. And then I'm going to glue down the tabs at both ends as well, just putting glue on that end tab, pulling my piece through, making sure the tab's all the way through, and then just gluing it down. It doesn't really matter what direction you glue them down in. So next I'm grabbing my base piece again. This is the piece that has the score line on it. And I'm going to take that long strip that has tabs on each end. So I'm putting glue along the tab on the left side of my roof and I'm just adhering that piece from corner to corner. I'm using my mat to make sure that's right against that score line. And I want the score line from the tabs on each end to correspond with those corners right there. And then I'm going to put glue on that other roof tab and I'm going to take, it's the same size as the other one, but it has only one tab. So the tab is going to go towards the bottom. And again, I'm going to glue it down. right against that score line and from corner to corner. And then I'm going to put glue on that upper tab and then just glue those pieces together. So now I've got that tab at the bottom. I'm putting glue all along it and I've got that longer piece with the tabs on both ends and I'm putting it right against my base making sure that the score lines are even on both ends. I'm just going to fold it down and fold it back up again and I just want to make sure that the cut edge is right against my score line. So now I'm going to turn my house 90 degrees and then I'm going to put glue on this tab. I'm going to grab one of my shorter pieces. There are no score lines or tabs on this one and I'm just going to place it right against my score line. Then I'm going to lay my piece flat. I'm going to push those tabs inwards. I'm going to put glue on them. So I'm just putting glue on the tabs on either side. And then I'm going to bring my side up so that it's right up against that score line and that they're flush at the top. I'm going to do that on both sides. And then I'm going to turn my piece around again. I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other side. So now I'm going to take my top piece and starting again with my roof, I'm going to put glue along those tab pieces at the top. Then I'm going to just insert my roof piece in. And what I'm going to do is, as I'm doing it, I'm just going to make sure that the rest of it fits because it's a very tight fit. And you want to make sure 
you're placing everything where it, you want it to be in the end. I'm just lowering my top piece, exerting a little bit of pressure, and making sure that the score line of this piece is right along the cut edge that I'm adhering it to. And then I'm just going to sort of lift those tabs away from the walls and just glue them down as well, all three remaining sides. All right, so next I'm gonna take my insert piece and you kind of have to jostle it in a little bit because it's a very tight squeeze. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue on the underside of this tab and I'm just going to tuck it between the slot like so. I'm just pulling it forward a little bit so that glue takes. I'm gonna do the same on the other side as well. Just a little bit of glue, and then I'm gonna tuck it under. So I'm just pulling on that piece just a little bit just to make sure that it takes. I'm just putting glue on the underside of the tab, and then I'm folding it inwards so that it's just, it's just along the top like that. And again, I'm gently pulling, and the same on this one. my little boxes will fit into my advent calendar. So now that I've finished four of these, I'm going to decorate the front and the back panels for my house. So for the windows and the door, there are score lines to use as guides. So I'm going to straighten out these pieces and glue them down pretty much the way you see them there and do the exact same thing with the back panel, with the exception of the door and where the door is on the front, I'm going to have some crisscross candy canes. So now that I've decorated the front and the back, so next we're going to move on to the side panels. So on the side panels, again, there's the score lines showing me where to put the windows. I have the rest of my candy pieces, which I'm going to put in the center of these snowflakes. So I'm just going to glue everything down the way you see here. Okay, so now that my side panels are all decorated, I've glued down the front panel on that flat part of one of my sections. And I've glued down the back on the other one. So I've got a set of two here and a set of two here. And what I've done is, so I've glued down one of those pieces that has a score line in the center, just over the score line between these two sections. And then what happens is those pieces become linked together on one side. So it becomes the opening part of my advent calendar. And I put those single pieces on the walls on the other side. So this is my back piece. I'm going to do that for the front piece as well. I'm just flipping my pieces over. So my little drawer sections are facing one another like so. Then I'm just gluing this section so that the score line is right on top of the join between those two pieces. So my two sections are even and flush at the bottom. My little boxes for the calendar are going to be facing one another. I'm just gluing this on top, making sure that score line right over the, the joint between these two pieces. So since this piece is the hinge between these two pieces, and this piece is the part that opens on those, I'm just going to alternate the colors of the candies. I'm just going to glue those panels on the sides like so. So the next step would be to put glue all over this panel and join it to that middle panel. So you've got your back and your front and these two sections are glued together in the middle. But just for the sake of being able to show you what I'm doing, I'm going to glue the roof to these panels. So I've got two of my roof pieces and if you notice there's a notch cut out on this side and that's to facilitate this opening. I'm just gonna run glue all along the rooftop. Glue these strips down, and there is a bit of an overhang. You want your strips right up against the back edge of the piece, and right at the top here, like so. And you're gonna do that on both sides, and just glue those into place. So you're just gonna continue along on all four sections, gluing down your roof pieces. 
I've glued on the roof pieces. Now there's an overhang at the front on these two pieces at the front. And there's an overhang at the back as well on the two roof pieces at the back. And I've added some of those candies on the lower section of my roof. I've also added candy canes to decorate a little bit more. And I've created a tray to put my gingerbread house in. Very simple box that's glued together at the corners. And that's my gingerbread advent calendar.